Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to troubleshoot the top five reasons why your dishwasher won't dispense detergent. Stick around to the end of the video for some important tips on how to improve your dishwasher's performance. But before we begin, we're going to make sure the appliance is unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the water supply underneath the sink. The first thing to check is the detergent dispenser. It's what dispenses the detergent and rinse aid. Detergent dispensers come in many designs. Some are just molded into the dishwasher door and have a door and spring. Others come as a complete assembly. The detergent dispenser is located on the dishwasher door. If it won't dispense the detergent, then the dishes won't get clean. Make sure the dispenser latch area is clean and that nothing is interfering with the door opening. Also inspect the visible linkages you can see on the back of the dispenser. Depending upon how your dispenser is sold, if any of the parts are damaged, you'll either have to replace the broken piece or the whole assembly. If there's no apparent damage, but the door still isn't opening, you can use a multimeter to test the wax motor or solenoid to see if it's bad. So set your meter to ohms. Our meter automatically detects whatever ohms are coming in, but you may need to set your meter to read the proper ohm level. You'll have to look at the tech sheet for your model to see what the ohms reading should be. Then take off the wires and touch a probe to each terminal. If it's not in the proper range or you don't get a reading at all, that means it's gone bad. If the motor solenoid are sold separately for your model, you can replace that on its own. But in most cases, the dispenser is sold as a complete assembly, so you'll have to replace the whole thing. If you need to order a part, simply go to AppliancePartsPros.com and type in your model number. Find your part on the easy to read diagrams and match it to the number below. Click on the part if you want to see more pictures of the item or watch its repair video. You can also scroll down to see DIY stories from customers like you or ask a question in the Q&A section. Once you're ready, you can add the part to your cart. It's that easy. Most orders will arrive within two business days. Next, we can check the detergent lid spring. It's what opens the lid when the latch is released. There have been many different designs of lid springs used over the years. They're usually a small metal spring that opens the lid. They're usually part of the dispenser, which is located on the dishwasher door. They're located around the hinge pin or under the lid. If the detergent will not dispense, the detergent lid spring could be damaged or missing. Without the spring, the lid won't open properly to release the detergent. If the lid doesn't spring open when it's released, then the spring is damaged and needs to be replaced. Next, we can look at the detergent latch. It's what holds the detergent lid closed. Detergent latches are usually made out of plastic. They're what the lid latches onto when you close it. They're part of the dispenser, which is located on the dishwasher door and are usually located along the side of the lid. If the detergent will not dispense, it could be that the detergent latch is dirty or has failed and the dispenser is an opening. Inspect the latch area. If it's gummed up with old detergent, you may be able to clean it up, but if the latch is damaged and not releasing the lid, it'll have to be replaced. As always guys, hit those like and subscribe buttons now to help support us making more of these videos. Now we can look at the detergent lid. It's what you close to hold in the detergent. There have been many styles of detergent lids used over the years and they're usually made out of plastic. The detergent lid is part of the dispenser and is located on the dishwasher door. Inspect the lid. If it's dirty and old detergent is interfering with the lid opening and closing, you can simply clean it but if it's damaged in a way that's stopping it from opening when the latch is released, then it'll have to be replaced. Last thing to check is the main control board. It sends power to the dishwasher components. The main control board is a computer board that collects data from all the sensors and switches of the dishwasher and controls the various functions. They're usually mounted in the control panel. If the dishwasher won't dispense the detergent, it could be that the main control board has failed and it isn't sending power to the dispenser. There are many different designs of main control boards out there, so we can't show you how to test them all here. You'll have to grab your tech sheet and follow the steps to test the board. In this example, you'll have to enter the diagnostic mode and follow the steps to verify power is being sent to the dispenser. If during the test you discover that power isn't being sent to the dispenser, the board will have to be replaced. Now here are those performance tips we mentioned earlier. If your dishes aren't getting as clean as they used to, or there's a funny smell coming from inside, it could be that you need to do some regular maintenance to your dishwasher. First, make sure the water temperature is correct. Most manufacturers recommend the water to be around 120 degrees Fahrenheit to clean properly. You can also run the hot water in the sink until it comes out hot to 
clear out the cold water in the lines before you run the dishwasher. It's important for the spray arms to be clear of dirt and soap residue. Clogged spray arms can prevent the water from spraying out as intended, causing your dishes to remain dirty after a cycle. Simply take a small nail or toothpick and check all the holes on the spray arm. If any are clogged, make sure to clean them out. Be sure not to use anything that will deform the holes. It's important to inspect and clean your dishwasher's filter as well. A clogged filter will prevent the water from cycling through the dishwasher properly and can prevent the dishes from getting clean. Make sure to clean off any residue on the interior walls and gaskets. Also make sure to use a cleaner such as a fresh or glisten on a regular basis to help keep everything clean. Keeping everything clean will allow the water to flow properly and clean the dishes better. It will also reduce stress on the motors and pumps since they won't have to work as hard. Once you take care of the problem, you can plug the appliance in, turn the water back on, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another troubleshooting video brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons now, and if you have any questions or want to share how your repair went, leave a comment down below.